Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. Indeed, and we are uh, we're getting right back into it. We're of course playing as uh, Robert the Bruce, and uh, yeah, I figured out how to change the name of the uh, of the city. So we click on the toggle city details, and we just click here, and then I'm gonna type in just like this. But I'm gonna do it in all caps because I think it looks a little nicer. Aberdeen. There we go. Simple as that. And um, yeah, where did we leave off? Well, currently we haven't decided on what we are going to produce next. Um, and yeah, I think we should probably make our make our mind up. Actually, we can make the tra we can um, make the traders because we just discovered that at the end. Um, I think we probably want to go for a builder. Oh, sorry, no, we've already got a builder because the bu the builder finished and we moved him over there. That's that's what happened. Um, so. Yeah, I think it's probably a trader that we want. I don't think I don't think we want to hamstring ourselves by going straight for a settler. A uh, granary would be nice, but I'm not going to worry about that too too much at the moment. Let's go for a trader. I think that's probably a safe bet. There's still a bunch of barbarians around, but we're hoping we're hoping 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 that in the next couple of turns we'll be able to Conquer these chaps right here. Okay. Let's do this. Major defeat. It will revert, re result in a major defeat, but I think we will take them out. There we go. Just like that. And we take over the camp, which is darned, darned good, actually. Um, yeah, military tradition has received a, um, a boost, which is great. Ooh, Scottish Empire makes history. Ah, I like that. The Scottish Empire. Ah, interesting. Um, yeah, the danger on the doorstep of Aberdeen has been defeated. The barbarians are driven away. I mean, I literally only fought them once. Um, <laughs> so, I'll take that. You know, I'll take that. You know, they say any press is good press. Um, Hong Kong. Wow, you're literally just over there. That's that's kind of crazy, actually. Um, yep, 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 yep. Threatening camp destroyed. Good stuff. I actually do think that we need to genuinely start considering um, what we're or where we're going to place our city, shall we say? Uh, what tiles are we currently working? We need to get this. We need to get this organized. I do believe. Um, I don't think we can chop down wood currently. Pretty sure we can't. Uh, as such, it's probably a good idea if we go and improve this resource because we can actually improve um, improve the quarries. So let's go and do that. Let's go do that right now. Uh, the reason that we were bringing our warrior back originally was because we were going to have some um, barbarian problems. But I don't honestly think that we'll have any barbarian problems anymore, given the fact that we got rid of, um, you know... The substantial, uh, the substantial problem that was that barbarian camp. You're gonna attack me? That's a very silly thing to do, I guess. Like, st unbelievably stupid. This military unit has proven yep. themselves. Thanks, thanks. I I do know how experience works. Um, I guess we just crush you straight away. Why not? There we go. Nice, a nice little bit of um, bit of extra experience. Uh, what do? Oh. I'm I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Um, sure. Would you like to visit our city and? Uh, Welcome oh. to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well. You can consider us friends. But if not, um, you're going to hate us. I can't say no to that. Great. So there's an American scout. There's a Aztec scout over there. I'm presuming these boys have come from the north, which means that they've come from up here somewhere. Because, I mean, I don't think that there's anything of value up there. Well, I guess that settles it. Our scout's going to be heading up there uh, pronto style, really, to, to try and figure out what's going on. Um, you're gonna go over it here. It's best to use caution when moving close to enemy yep. units. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was just basically having a wee look and um, and seeing what the situation was in Hong Kong. 
Um, do, 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 do. Wonders, Envoys. We haven't sent anything yet. We don't really want to. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an all right little place, I guess. Hong Kong. And you up here. You've got a quest. Send a trade route to the city-state. You... Uh, excuse me? Uh, you also have a, a quest. Recruit a great general. Okay, well, that is no, not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. Great general. Uh, no, not, not anytime soon at all. But that's okay. That doesn't really matter. We don't really need any of that nonsense. Um, the scout is available for... Promotion, I'll be able to do that next turn because I've already moved it this turn. My bad, whoops, doesn't particularly matter. Um, yeah, we need to be thinking about expanding. I'm always, I'm always eager to expand just because I love to get, you know, in on the ground floor, so to speak. Um, faster movement on hill terrain, faster movement in the woods and rainforest terrain. I think that's a pretty darn <laughs> obvious pick for us, really, um, given the fact that we mostly move through rainforest over here anyway uh so yeah cool i think i'm gonna actually continue to send you back because there are these barbarians that are just hanging about so to speak and i don't really want to uh don't really want to chance it i'm gonna move up i'm gonna follow them around a little bit see what's see what's hip and happening Let's get that quarry built. Boosting masonry in the process. That is great. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to only to only research boosted techs so that we constantly get that bonus. But I, 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 I realize that that might not always be a possibility. Um, yeah. So this is going to be perhaps a little bit of an impasse. We might not actually be able to get through over there. But that's not a problem uh, really. Keep the warriors moving back a little bit slow, a little bit cumbersome, but still no big deal. We'll um, we'll deal with it. Uh, okay, it looks like we will be building an improvement over here. The quarry will increase production by one. Um, because, I mean, there's literally no point in building a quarry on this, uh, on this stone resource as it currently stands. Because then it will just improve it to be the same resource as uh, that over there, which I don't really feel any need to do. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go and improve uh, that tile right there. Uh, this tile is the next one that we're gonna expand into. Pretty happy about that. It's a pretty okay tile, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing super, nothing super fantastic or special. We're growing faster than Tbilisi, which is, which is quite good. Um, we have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Yeah, writing great. is easy. Yeah. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. That's quite a lovely quote. I just like the way that that sounds. Um, okay, yes. Yeah, so we've got the library, which is nice. And then we've got the campus. Now, if we were to build a campus, I want to, I, I actually just want to uh, talk about potentially building, um, potentially building a campus. Because if we were to build a campus, can we not build a campus here? I thought we could build a campus there. Or does it have to be unimproved? If we were to demolish that, we might be able to build a campus on there. I presume we... I presume we, we must be able to, right? Because... Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just getting the wrong end of the, the, the shtick, so to speak. That's quite a good... That's quite a good tile as well. Um, getting quite a few bonuses. The adjacent rainforest and the adjacent mountain tile. Um... As the city expands, I imagine that we'll probably get, you know, they'll, there will be better tiles available, but it's just unfortunate that we weren't able to deal with that. Um, I thought we were able to, to, to build over that, but perhaps, perhaps I'm wrong. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Let me know what the, uh, the situation is, what the situation is with that. You, I'm quite happy just to fortify until healed. No rush on that. You keep on moving over here. Ooh, diamonds. Nice luxury resource. I'll take it. What do we want to research? Well, we have discovered that natural wonder. We did discover the... Was it the reef up here? I think it was the reef up there that we discovered. Uh, so that's certainly a possibility. Uh, that would give us... 
uh, faith-based stuff, and we are actually already working towards uh, the required faith, the, the required faith to form a pantheon. So that might not actually be the craziest idea in the world. The hanging gardens. What would the hanging gardens give us? You know, they'd give us a little bit of money. The plantation. I don't really think that we have the capacity to build a plantation anywhere. Uh, we will up here. I believe it's a plantation that you need to farm bananas. But unfortunately, I don't think we really have any need for irrigation. Um, animal husbandry, again, there really is, there's no need for it. Um, battering ram allows the harvesting of stone. I thought we already had the harvesting of stone, but maybe maybe that's just me. Well, I think the, the, the pick here, honestly, is, is completely clear. Uh, other than, of course, sailing, which we definitely don't need. We, we definitely d do not need sailing at all. Uh, let's go for astrology. Let's go for uh, faith see what we can muster let's see what faith that we can muster uh, let's keep on moving out this way uh, a bunch of nice stuff over here it does indeed look like the land extends further uh, northwest than uh, originally thought i thought it ended here uh, i thought this was the extent of it but apparently i am majorly wrong i'm especially wrong if um if the americans are up here Oh, 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 Great. Happy days. Another, another friendly neighbor. Hello, it's an honor to meet you. Happy, happy days. And you're just kicking back over there. Nice. All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, you are going to improve this resource great and without craftsmanship inspiration is a mere reach. hold on a minute i did yeah i did improve that resource yeah okay cool um let's establish a trade route now if we are to establish a trade route here then that does fulfill the quest is it actually worth it though it's not bad it's not bad we get the culture um we don't actually have a hugely a huge amount of culture coming in What's our current production over here? Our current production is 9. Being bumped up to 10, that would be an increase of about a tenth. Whereas, it would be an increase of about, you know, 25% uh, if we were to get that trade route with culture. We don't really need culture. I'm not super... I mean, culture is just one of those things. Like, it's nice to have, but I'm not that bothered. However, the fact that it fulfills a quest um, is pretty nice and um, will make them pretty pretty happy with us. Uh, where is your second city? Okay, that's why, that's why they're only a population of two. We need to get a move on and, uh, and get expanding, I believe. I don't think we can afford to hang around. In fact, I think our very next, um, our very next, our very next piece of production. To bringing riches to our civilization. Yep, thanks. Trade route, currency, fantastic news all around. Is there a barbarian camp up here? I don't know. I'm going to follow it and uh, I'm going to have a look. You are going to come back. I'm going to send you up here. See if there is actually anything up there. If there's not, I'm going to walk you back down and walk you down this way. There's a barbarian camp there. We're not in any danger currently, but we will have to account for the fact that we're going to be moving the settler out very, very soon. Uh, nine turns for a settler. It's a big commitment early on, but I think that we just need to, we need to, you know, suck it and see, so to speak. Uh, the civics tree. What should we be wanting to move towards? That would be nice. Is there anything that allows us to, you know, perhaps? Ah, yeah, this one. This is the boosting of um. The boosting of 50% 50, 50 production towards settlers. That would be really nice if we could get that. And we are... We are... We're quite far away from it, unfortunately. If I was to move you over there... Uh, it increases our food, but I mean, it's not... Truthfully, it's not great. 
Um, yeah, I think we just we suffer the we suffer the penalty of taking the full cost settler as it stands, and then we you know we readjust. We readjust as it goes. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, build any specialty district. I'm honestly kind of happy just moving towards military tradition as it stands. We're going to be founding a pantheon soon anyway. If we do clear a barbarian outpost, post, um, found a pantheon, um, and then we can probably go to um, early empire. Because, you know, after we build this settler, we're not going to need another settler for quite a while after that. So I, I feel quite happy. Um, yeah, dealing with that. We're getting the bonus, which is great. Um, and uh, an envoy. Happy, happy days. Happy days. Great. It's all going pretty darn well. Nothing to, uh, nothing to complain about for once. Which makes me feel very good about everything. Uh, okay, scouts. I think we just need to cut our losses, honestly, up here. I just don't think that we're going to find anything. Move you across here. Move you down there. I doubt you're going to get attacked, but you might. Uh, where do we want to go? That's the real question. I think we want to go up. See if we can. See if we can spot any of the contentious stuff. It's always a good idea if um, if you're exploring to follow the coast. I've found, especially in uh, you know, in games which uh, you know it's important to explore early. Um, speaking of exploring early, we need to we need to very much talk about okay coast goes around here fine, good, good, okay not the most interesting of coasts I I must say, um, yeah you're just gonna chill out there you're gonna come back this way and we can proceed right to the next turn anyway as I was saying. We need to decide, we need to seriously decide where on earth we're going to stick our next city. Um, because it's actually going to be important. Oh. What was that music? Oh, okay, I guess. Found a village. Ah, yes, a village. Cool. We'll go to that next turn. Uh, da 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 da. You are going to head on down here. Yeah, there we go. With as much haste as you can muster, please, my friends. Uh, we're growing, which is going to be great. Obviously, we're going to be going down in size once the settler pops out. But that's uh, that's no biggie. Uh, village. Great stuff. You're granted one builder unit. I'm assuming that that's back at the city. That's, that's quite a nice bonus to have, actually. Um... We can't actually chop down logs, can we? I believe... I believe maybe we can? Allows the chopping of woods. Okay, so we could chop that and just build a woods there, but I, I, I build, a, build a farm there, but I don't actually want to do that. Uh, what's it recommending I do? It's recommending that I build a farm there. That might not actually be the best, uh, the best idea in the world, the worst idea in the world. Uh, I think that that's probably what we want to do, actually. We'll be able to get it done very, very soon anyway. There we go. It's a farm. Um, there we go. You are coming down here. Just reset you on that. Um, yep, you are just going to fortify this turn. You are also going to fortify this turn as well. Five turns left on the settler. That's really, really important. Uh, where did you, Mr. Extra Citizen, go? You went straight into the food production. Well, it's a good thing that you did go there because that's exactly where I was going to place you if, uh, if I had chosen that. Now, in terms of placing our next city, my thoughts on this are probably here. Or here. Or here. Like one of these three slots. Because I want to balloon and try and get in as many resources as we can. I'm thinking that here is probably the optimal place. 
you know, a library district or something in there, if we can. I don't, I don't know how it works, if we can build um, campuses on hills or whatnot, but yeah, I'm thinking here. Your delegation is most welcome. Of course, of course, please, please, by all means, um, come and visit. I'm quite happy for um, for any of that. I don't happen. underrate the value of military knowledge. Ooh, okay, if men okay, make okay, war okay. And obedience to rules, they will fail. Great. Um, cool. Let's have a look. Should we should we change should we change anything towards ancient classical ranged units? No, plus two gold from. Plus two gold from all trade routes. It's pretty good. Plus 30% production towards builders. No, 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 no. No, I'm not really interested in any of this nonsense. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. No, it's not really of any, of any value to us. Um, I think, honestly, we should probably start looking for something uh, excluding, or that's not chiefdom. But that's not for, yeah, it's not for a while. Political philosophy is when we can actually branch out. Um, what did I say that we were going to be going for next? I said that we were going to be going for mysticism next because, of course, we were going to be able to get that pantheon um, established kind of soon. I think it's 25, 25 faith for a pantheon, so that's seven turns, give or take. I mean, it's not seven turns, give or take. It's exactly seven turns. Um, okay. Well, I suppose we can go for, I don't want to build a specialty district. I suppose we can probably go for that. In fact, let's put a couple of turns into early empire and then let's swap on over to mysticism. Yeah, uh, this builder, by the way, I, I think that you know, there's more stuff that you can do here, obviously, but I think it would actually be better. I think it would actually be better if we were just to walk you round to this area and get you to improve, you know, rice, stone, etc., etc., stuff like that. So let's move you and you over here, um, but let's do it in trade route plundered. What? Really? Okay, well that's hugely disappointing and a, you know, uh, yeah, that's hugely disappointing. I was under the impression that this area was swarming with troops and was secure. Okay, well I guess I was wrong and it turns out that, um, turns out that Georgia has not been keeping an eye on these barbarians. Yikes. That's, um, that's not so good. That's not so good. Let's try and escape over this way. Builder, let's get you back into the city. Take up defensive positions. Yep. Thanks. I'm, I'm a friend of yours. I'm, I'm a good friend. Cheers, mate. Okay. Oh. We're still fortifying that guy up there. Okay. Well, that's very disappointing. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Very funny. Um, Arthur C. Clarke, the science fiction author, of course. Uh, Holy District. Nice. I'll consider it. Shrine. That would be very nice if we could do Stonehenge. Stonehenge, Stonehenge, Stonehenge. Now, what did we get? And how the hell do I open that uh, that window? Here we go. Um. Yeah. So, was there something about wonders, or am I just going crazy? I guess not. Oh, well, I thought there was some production boost towards, um, towards wonders, but I guess not. Uh, anyway, let's just move on over here. I, I mean, it's kind of risky to fly so close to the sun, but that's okay. And by sun, I, of course, mean the barbarians, but that's fine. That's not a problem. Hanging gardens, <sighs> clearing of marsh, harvesting of bananas. Are there any bananas around these parts? Not really. 
Um, not going to have a huge amount of use for it. Masonry. Pyramids. Pyramids would be nice. All builders can build one extra improvement. Most be built on desert, including floodplains without hills. It would actually be not too bad because that is desert, and we can actually build on it. So let's go for let's go for masonry. Let's go with great haste. Um, I have an unfortunate feeling that we might have to that we might have to address these chaps, and I think that we might have to address them very very soon indeed. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Oliver Potato. This has been Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave, and I'll see you next time. Bye.